All right, this is a nice follow-up video to the last one. Um, you can see we have two triangles where things are already congruent, and it's all kind of drawn in there for us. So we want to know what the congruent sides are. So in the first triangle, let's focus on the sides, and you can see DF has this one little dash in there. So we're going to say DF, and we're going to put a segment line above it, is congruent to, and then you want to find its matching side in the second triangle. So in the second triangle, see how you've got two dashes and one dash? Well, it's the one that's a one dash that's congruent to it. So DF is congruent to XZ. And again, remember, it doesn't matter the order that you write those, so that's good. Well, what else is congruent? We also have, so if you have more than one set of congruent sides or segments, we have to figure out how to differentiate them. So you can see that this one has one dash and this one has two of them. So that means that these two are not congruent to each other because they don't have the same number of dashes, but this EF is gonna match up with a side in the other triangle. So segment EF is congruent to segment x, y. And there's our congruent segments. All right, well, congruent angles, let's see what we have here. So remember, we talked about ways that you can um, identify angles in kind of the best way. So I'm gonna go through both of those just as a reminder. So we have this angle D over here with just the one little curve. That's gonna match up with angle Z over there. So you could say angle D is congruent to angle Z. But there's a better way to write that because that's not as specific. So the best way would be to say angle E D, F, and see how I put D, the vertex of this angle in the middle spot there, is congruent to angle X, Z, run out of room. It's okay, I can move it over. Y. So this is the preferred way to write it. But again, I'm just kind of showing you everything. Now the second one, we could say, oh yep, here's our two curves, that's angle E is congruent to angle Y. So we could say angle E is congruent to angle Y. Hopefully you guys are not as sloppy as I am. But let's come up with a better way to write it. So the better way would be angle, just put that vertex E in the middle, so you could say DEF is congruent to angle XYZ.